Hey everybody, we're on 8-9. Now, 8-9 um, is not a real section in your book. 8-9 is the application problems to the factoring and adding and subtracting. So what we did is we did more of the math basics, and now we're going to apply those basics, adding, subtracting, and multiplying polynomials together. So we're actually still in the exact same eligible content for your keystones. Um, I need you to recall today that perimeter for middle school is adding all the sides together of a rectangle, and area, <coughs> excuse me, is multiplying the length and the width. Every practice keystone test I've ever seen has this on it, so it would really just kind of be stupid of me not to go over this. So here's your example. Let's say we have this rectangle, and we don't know the actual side lengths, but we know it's like 4x plus 1 and then x minus 2. So the perimeter is um, all four sides uh, added up. So like, for example, this would also be a 4x plus 1. This would also be an x minus 2. And so when I did perimeter over here, notice that I did each side individually like that. Uh, combine your like terms because perimeter is adding and you end with uh, 10x take away 2 when you combine your like terms. And then area, area you do your 4x plus 1 times your x plus 2 and then you distribute it together the way we learned how. Combine your like terms and we are done. So let's take a look. Let's do this. I think I have 1, 2, 3, 4. I only have four of them so that will be awful. All right let's take a look and jump right into it on the first example. So we have a rectangle Please remember perimeter. Now, perimeter is the length plus the length plus the width plus the width. Now, if you wanted to do it as 2L plus 2W, by all means, go ahead. Um, I think most students do a better job with this than with this. Uh, so that's what I'm going to run with is just the first one. Let's do perimeter. So perimeter equals, let me go ahead and write P for perimeter, equals, what is the length? 3X squared plus 5. So 3x squared plus 5, what I'm going to do is highlight that because that's just one length. Remember, I have another length down below, so another adding 3x squared plus 5. And maybe some of you already know you're just going to double that, which is what happens. Now let's get uh, the width. So I see, or the length, or the, whatever you want to call it, length, width, whatever. The other one is 2x squared. So funny, I just did this a little bit with my, my uh, third grader, but she's just doing numbers, not x's. And the other side of this rectangle will be the same. It'll be another 2x squared, which remember, if it's a rectangle, they're going to be the same on both sides. So let's add another 2x squared here. So we have four sides of a rectangle um, and then like two pairs. So there's one pair and there's one pair. Now it's time for us just to see this as an expression and add it for what we know. So I see a 3x squared. I see another 3x squared. I see combined like terms, I see a 2x squared, and I see another 2x squared. So all of those we're gonna add. Now if you're not sure how to add, if you forget how to add, it has been a hot minute, um, we can grab our calculator if that would be, you know, if you'd like to see it worked out on the calculator, we shrink it down. So I'm gonna do all my coefficients together. So three plus three plus two plus two, and that makes a total of 10, x to the second powers. And you remember, when you add, you don't change your exponent. And let's see, I have a 5 and a 5. And I can do that without a calculator. That's just a 10. <coughs> so my perimeter is 10x squared plus 10. And then whatever it might be. Maybe it's just units. Maybe it's inches, whatever. You can put units behind that. Um, whether it's feet or yards or whatever it might be. I use, I use parentheses when I just did that because it's like one expression with that many units. Uh, the units aren't huge, but you just might want to write units or inches behind that, depending on what it is. Okay, area. So please remember that area is, and I'll just write that over here, the length times the width. So looking at that, and you can, however you see that, I'm not sure what you see as the length and the width because some of us see rectangles differently. So I'm gonna write as area equals the length, to me the length is 2x squared over there, times the width, which is a binomial, so I better use parentheses there. So binomials use parentheses. I'm gonna highlight those parentheses because I feel like if you don't write them, you're gonna get this wrong. All right, whoa, let's drop this puppy down just so I have room for my distribution marks. So multiplying is different than adding, right? So we're gonna jump this in like that, and we're gonna get two times three, which is a six, 
And do you remember, this is when you add your exponents. So we do have to do two plus two to make four. So when you distribute, you add your exponents. When you distribute, you add your exponents. Now let's do that again, here we go. So that's gonna be 10, two times five, and the x squared from the front. There's no exponents to add. Something I think that just overall kids are bad at are the units of area. So whatever the units are, just remember they're square units because it's like a length times a length, so it's a unit times a unit. So my expression for the area is 6x to the fourth plus 10x squared. So I don't actually get a number. It's not like I'm like, hey, that's 30 square units. Like, no, that's an expression. All right, let's try that again. Um, but this time, because you know I love them, we got, we're going to make our word problem into a math problem. Emmy made a rectangle. Good job, Emmy. The length was five. Oh, gosh, look at this. The length was five less than the width. Let's take a look at this. So the width, I don't know the width, so I'm just going to put x. So how do we do five less than <laughs> the width? Well, you would take your width, and you would take away five. I uh, just want to make sure we put that out there because I think that's important. So the length, this is what I would consider the length, is five less than whatever we put up here for the width. So I just put X because I don't know what it is. All right, so there's your expression. I know that probably was not fun for you. Uh, let's do our perimeter. So our perimeter is going to equal, I'm gonna have an X with an X. So I'll just do X plus X, that's a, I'm gonna get rid of this. An X plus an X. And then an X plus five Oh, I'm so sorry, I said x plus five, it's an x minus five, and another x minus five. So make sure you have all four sides. Here's side one, side two, side three, side four. Okay, so um, time to combine our like terms. So I have a regular x, another regular x, I have another regular x, and another regular x. So the question becomes, my dear students, is that four x? Or is that x to the fourth? Hopefully, you decided that it was 4x because you add the coefficients of 1, 1, 1, and 1. Now, some of you may be like, hey, you told me we add the exponents. No, no, you add the exponents when you distribute. So I now have a minus 5 and a minus 5 for a negative 10 altogether. So my perimeter is 4x minus 10 and whatever units they tell me. So I'll just write units, whether it's inches or feet or whatever. All right, let's try the area. <laughs> so remember, the area is whatever the length was times whatever the width is. Or you, if you really wanted to, you could do width times length. It doesn't matter. So looking at my picture, I'm going to put the easy side, x. Now maybe you want me to do it. That's what I think the width is. That's fine, whatever. Um, times x minus 5. So again, maybe some of you are like, no, Miss Langelli, I'd rather have uh, my width back here. Whoa. Yeah, I'll just keep it. Maybe you want your width there. Well, since multiplication is commutative, you could put it here, which looks kind of funny, or you could just put it where we're used to having it. So I'm going to put it right there. Maybe. I'm doing a great job. Okay. There we go. In other words, you're just multiplying these two things together. Well, how do we multiply expressions? <coughs> we distribute. So we're going to do this times this. Ah, that's where the x squared comes from because of the 1 plus the 1. So distribute means add your exponents. And that times that is a minus 5x. So hopefully you really understood that when we did it in um, earlier in Chapter 8. Area is square units. So I'm going to write units to the second power. So my expression for my area is x squared minus 5x. Okay, now let's look at the third example. Dalton. Dalton made a rectangle. Very good, Dalton. The length, to me, this is length, but I'm not sure about you. The length is four more than a number. So I'm going to do four more than a number. Now some of you are like, hey, why aren't you using X? I guess I just didn't feel like it. The width, doesn't matter because they don't tell us what to use. The width, to me, that's the width is two more than seven times the same number. So here's two more than seven times the same number. And that's how you do that. That was discussed with you back in earlier chapters and in middle school, um, but sometimes I think it's kind of like a forgotten skill, so I wanted to put it on there. 
let's do our perimeter. So remember, the perimeter is going to have four things. And maybe what I'll do this time is I'll do my four highlights first. So we need two lengths and two widths. So let's go find them. So my two lengths are going to be 7n plus 2 and 7n plus 2. 7n plus 2. Add another 7n plus 2. Um, and then n plus 4 and n plus 4. So we have to add the outside n plus 4 and add the outside n plus 4. Because remember, perimeter is all the outsides. Let's combine those like terms. So I have regular n here. When I say regular, I mean not squared or cubed. Look at that one over there. I better put a 1 in front of that in case somebody forgets. And I better put a 1 in front of that in case somebody forgets. So I'm going to do 7 on my calculator. If I had it up, I would do 7 plus 7 plus 1 plus 1. That's a total of 16 ends. And then I have a positive 2 and a positive 2 to make 4. Positive 4 to make 8 and another positive 4 to make 12. So it was a positive 12 altogether because 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4. Double check. Uh, 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 8 is 12. Okay, good. So my perimeter is 16n plus 12 and just a singular unit since it's not squared. So the expression for my perimeter is 16n plus 12. Now let's do the area for air. Excuse me, the expression for area. Remember, area is whatever your length is times whatever your width is or whatever your width is times whatever your length is. So it's just the two things times each other. This one doesn't really matter because they're both binomials. So I'm going to do 7n add 2. Binomial means parentheses times n plus 4. So it's my length times my width, or my width times my length, however you see it. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of move this down a little. Whoa. Move that down a little bit so I can get my arcs going up here, so I can show my distribution. 7n times n is 7n squared, because it's like 1 and 1. 7n times 4 is a 28n. 2 times n is a 2n and two times four is a positive eight. Everything's positive, I love positive problems. So this is our area. Combining those like terms, so this is the first time I think an area that we have to, these two get put together because they're both ends, they're both linears, like meaning to the first power. So seven n squared comes down, that becomes 30 n, and then that plus eight hops down. So my final area is seven n squared plus 30 n plus eight, and remember, area is square units, so whatever your units are squared. All right, I think I only have one more. Um, and again, your favorite, we've got to set this word problem up, which we can do. Mason, let's see what Mason was up to. Mason made a rectangle. The length, to me, this is the length, uh, was three smaller than a number. So I have to do three smaller than a number. So I'll do, there's three smaller, that's hard for kids. A lot of kids think three smaller means three minus, but it doesn't, it means minus three, than a number. You know what I'm gonna pick this time, guys, just to mess with you? I'm gonna pick the letter Q. Oh no, kids like freak out when I pick a different variable than X, so I'm gonna get used to that. Um, and the width was two less, oh, let's look at this, two less than five times that same number. Two less than, okay, so here's two less, and here's five times that same number. Oh no, I, got, I even got myself there, Q, I was using Q. I have to keep it the same. So your perimeter will be, you know what? I really like doing this. I really like doing one, two, three. That looked, I thought that was cool. I thought that worked out well, that helped me. All right, let's fill in all four sides. So the first side, 5q minus 2, that's what I see at least. You don't have to do that. You can do them out of order. 5q minus 2. Um, look, I can even go out of order. The next side is q minus 3. The next side is 5q minus 2 because it's the same. And the next side is q minus 3. So perimeter, by definition... You add all your sides together, even if your sides are kind of written weird like I just did. And now it's time to combine our like terms. So we'll do 5q, 1q, 5q, 1q. 
So I'm going to put those ones there in case anybody's feeling a little lost. Well, five, let's see, five plus one plus five plus one is really six plus six, so it's 12 Q. And no, 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 it's not Q to the fourth. Anybody who's thinking that, you're, you're accidentally switching your multiplication with your adding skills. Okay, so now I have a minus two, I have a minus three, a minus two, and I have a minus three. All right, so minus two, minus three, minus two, minus three. If you need a calculator to get one, that ends up being a minus 10 altogether. Get rid of that. And we're in perimeter. So perimeter is basic units. There you go. So the expression is 12Q minus 10, or whatever variable you happen to use, since I wasn't picky about it. Time for our area. <clears throat> Excuse me. Remember, area is length times width, or if you don't like it that way, width times length. It does not matter because multiplication is commutative. <coughs> so I'll do, I'll do the Q minus 3 first, so that's my one width or my one length. Binomial parentheses. 5Q, take away 2. And now it's time to multiply. So my area will be, I'm going to drag this down so I can show my arcs. Ooh, there we go. Here I go. So Q times 5Q is 5Q squared. Q times negative 2 is negative 2Q. 3 times 5 is 15 with a Q. Negative 15, excuse me, because it was an, I jumped the gun. I went really fast. That's negative 3 times 5. And negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. Watch out for this sign. I bet half of you probably wanted to write a minus 6 there by accident. Combining your like terms, when I say that, it's the ones that are both linear, the ones that both have an exponent of 1. So I take down my 5q squared. Negative 2, take away 15, is negative 17 when you add those, plus 6. Because you like, remember, you combine your like terms, you type in your calculator. Again, if you need to see it, here it comes. You ready? You would do negative 2 um, plus negative 15 or minus 15, whatever you want to type in there, either way. So you can even do plus negative 15 if that's easier for you. All right. Um, and notice I did not make this Q squared, did I? Because I'm adding at that point. I'm not multiplying, I'm not distributing. So my area is that. And remember, area is measured in unit squared. So everything on the homework, <coughs> excuse me, should match what we just went over. Hopefully I did an okay job presenting it. Like I said, every Keystone practice test that I've ever looked at has a problem like this on it. So best of luck. Let me know if you need me.